Um, the yeah. Most of you probably don't know that Downton Abbey sketch last year was secretly videoed and uploaded yeah. to YouTube. Yeah. When I checked the other day, I saw that it had been viewed by 23,600 oh, no. people. <laughs> and of those, 15 said they actually liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so, in response to an avalanche of requests for a sequel, and in defiance of a restraining order for the my junior fellows, Great Hall and Kinnerton Memorial Hall proudly present Downton Abbey in Crisis. Sponsored <laughs> by P&O Cruises. <laughs> discovering a very different world. <laughs> something, my lord. Otherwise this sketch is going to come to a very abrupt end. <laughs> relationship too far. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, Carson. I've got a drawer full of P45s that I may need to hand out to. <laughs> and yours is on top. <laughs> Sorry, my lord. Turning Downton into a zoo. 
There's enough monkey business going on here already. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a better suggestion, Robert. <laughs> if I sunbathe topless <laughs> on the Abbey roof and ask Cliff Armstrong to vote me my
I think I have, my lord. Oh, what is it, Daisy? I think we could have a Christmas supper with do-it-yourself entertainment and sell tickets round the village. <laughs> <laughs> has cornered the market for that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Here, why don't we stage a Downton flower and produce show? They make a lot of money and the men always like to fi find out who's got the biggest cucumber. <laughs> and the smallest. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Patmore, the W.I. Mafia wouldn't allow it. <laughs> like to judge the size of the cucumber themselves <laughs> behind closed doors. <laughs> vintages I haven't tried yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we've got any left at all if you've been sampling them, Carson. Remember the draw with the P45s? It could be opened at any time. I'm sorry, but I don't think any of these suggestions are good enough. What we want is a really big idea. Wait a minute, I've got it. The Olympics were so popular last summer, we ought to have them again next year here at Downton. No one wants to wait until 2016 to go to Rio. We've got all the facilities we need right here at the Abbey, so it wouldn't cost very much to set up, and we could sell the TV rights and make a fortune. What a wonderful idea, Robert! I think you've struck gold. Do you think you could persuade Her Majesty to join us? Well, I very much doubt it, Cora. I'm afraid the last parachute jump really put the window up. <laughs> License to kill that won't that wind her up last time. We could ask Boris Johnson to open and close the games for us. He did such a good job last time, and he owes me a favour for not reporting him for having a fag at Eton. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I've got a good idea too. We could provide the athletes with bed and breakfast. Here at the Abbey. Here. Will that be full English or continental breakfast, my lady? Oh, don't be silly, Mrs. Patmore. Both, of course. Quite right, Cora. We don't want any of that discrimination nonsense here, even though the house will be swarming with jolly foreigners. <laughs> Carson, do you think we have any athletes in the village who could win a medal for Downton? <coughs> Certainly, my lord. Peter Harris and Peter Bostock could do well in the cycling. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think that Chris Moody 
ريكتي شو حطي لنا جيبي ريكتي هيز جوجل از ار I'm sorry to disappoint you both, but Mr. Moody will not be able to demonstrate his enormous talents next summer. Cricket isn't an Olympic sport, I'm afraid. No. Hello. I'd like to suggest some ladies from Appleby Crescent, Appleby Close rather, for the beach volleyball team. I don't think so, Carson. You're getting far too excited. <laughs> You've been very quiet, Mother. What's your view about holding the Olympics here at Danton next year? I still think my offer to pose topless is better. <laughs> I'm off to bed. <laughs> you might be right. Let's all think about it. On the other hand, maybe that's not such a good idea either. <laughs> Let's all go to bed and start again in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. Good night. Good night.